outside quarantining today. I want to make a little small talk. I think I don't get a day, right? With a lady. And the lady is a girl. She, our man. She says she work three jobs. Three jobs. To take care of a man. Three jobs. Now, some man fool fool, you see? Watch her. If you're ever lucky enough to get a woman that's willing to work three jobs, you see? You're about to be rich. You are about to be rich. All you have to do is match her hustle. That's it. For the Jamaican man, them thing I look bad now. Because guess what we're known for overseas? A lot of us are known for to be cheaters or people that take people and use them. They get a green card, they run off. The found a run off before they even get the paperwork sorted out properly. And mash up your own thing. Watching that woman, I thought both she worked three jobs. And a lot of people call her a fool. I know fool. She just chose the wrong person. There were people on the channel that were saying, so flow, send her, give her my number. And people send me them number to give her. A man said him work to him work two jobs. And he would have do well with a woman like that. That's still willing to get up and go work three. Imagine this, right? You have a woman where I work three jobs. Because she want to work three jobs. If you tell her, say, quit one of them and work two. Because she want, you know, you might have plans, dreams, goals. So you have to go work for a minute. Overwork yourself to achieve these things. So you're working two jobs and she will work two jobs. And four jobs, that's enough. That's four incomes coming into one household enough. And as far as I understand, they don't even have kids together. So four four incomes coming into one household and no children. You're about to be rich. It is from circumstances like these that you can sort out yourself. You know what I say? Save our money, pay down for a house, own some property, have a nice savings account for rainy days. When I see rainy days do happen because you see this pandemic thing I lick, right? And enough people can't even find themselves. They're panicking. And they're panicking because the light bill still due. The water bill still due. The rent or mortgage still due. The car note still due. Gas for going at the vehicle them still due. The grocery money still due. You see how much things you have to pay for? The phone bill, all these things still due. People never save. So when you have somebody who can work and match your hustle now, you put away a good chunk of change for days like these. When everybody else are running around and stressed out, you know, say, fair fuck, you're not stressed. Because you were preparing yourself for things like these, right? Some man are real idiot. Some man get a woman willing to work three jobs. And that's how the woman, and you know what the funny thing about it is, that's the type of woman they choose to like cheat on or abuse or and run well for and these kind of things. And the person they pick up or the person they are doing it with is somebody that's probably just like them. No jobs, government assistance money, or she barely have one job where can barely pay fair bills. So in other words, then she can't do nothing for you, right? We feel hurt for the woman, so that's what she get paid in return for being one of those kind. You know how much man right now wish them woman would have just go work and come home, and that's it. I found out some woman were wild enough, can't tell her nothing. She have girls night out. She go places. You not even know where she gone most of the time. Right? 
and you pass up on a woman where you're not interested in none of them things there. She just want to go work and she just want to come home to a nice comfortable home. But she has somebody there who love her. Now, enough people are going to say self love and the only woman you know a man too. A yeah, man out there will work hard on them things there. Which bring me to this. I'm talking specifically about that one case. But in a reality, it goes both ways. Anytime you fuck somebody in life like that, you probably will never buck another one like that again. Right? If you buck them multiple, multiple times, then you're blessed. And you better choose, you better stop, abuse them, and start build with them. One of the saddest thing in life is to be getting older and you don't have nothing. You don't have no little money save up. You know what I'm saying? Women like that are pre, or people like that, then I should say. But in this case, that woman, she has pre future. She's pre in future. She's pre in save money, put herself together. Probably even work hard and then retire early. I'm gonna live some good Caribbean life. Enough people ain't gonna live a good life before them then. Why? Because they're, sh they're working alone. Check it, check the levels. They're working alone. I'm not saying you can't work and achieve things alone, but teamwork make the dream work. For sure, you hear that already. Teamwork make the dream work. So anytime you find somebody who can come in by your team, that's somebody that come in by your team. When you find somebody that can come in by your team, you see? And contribute. In that case, she was even contributing more than he was contributing to the team. She had a player that wasn't playing. He benched himself. So, when you have somebody that can come in by the team, and see the vision, and willing to work towards that one goal, you're going places, so for all the idiot man, them fool fool man, them out there, we we'll take them kind of woman, they know, and run them kind of jokey game, they're with them, embarrass them, hurt them, dash them with. Your karma can't good. That's how, that, you know what I equate that to? That's like, say, you yeah, play the lotto from when? Yeah, that's a prayer, say God. Please, just let me, just let me win that one time here. Yeah. I mean, I think one of the whole jackpot. Just let me win half of it. That was your lotto winning. <laughs> you understand? That was your lotto winning. You win the lotto, you never know. And you take it and dash it away. You had a winning ticket. And you take the winning lotto ticket and dash it away. And them same people here, when them see other people striving and doing good down the road, them I wonder, why nothing can go on for me? How many years now me I work on, me not own nothing and me not have nothing to save up and nothing like that. It's because of those golden tickets that you got and you ripped it up and threw it away. Rip it up and dash it away. So this message is for the brother them, the E that brother them. If ever you are lucky enough to run into a woman with no man working three jobs, She's not the one to cheat on, run round on. If a woman didn't work three jobs and me not have a job, I would be the person to stay home and clean up the house. When she come home, you know, spotless. She's supposed to come home and feed her food, cook her ready. And you ask her baby ready to eat and share out her food to her. So I said, how was work today? And be a listening here. Listen to what she has said to you. She needs somebody to talk to. Uplift her, tell her how she's strong and how she's beautiful and all them things there. That's what a good man would have done if he ever met a woman with three jobs. What a user does is and start plot. She got three jobs, that means uh, she's not gonna be able to keep up with half the stuff I'm about to be doing. So when she gonna work, 
ni gana kisha ya and them something there all that extra extracurricular activities that is non beneficial to your to your growth and upliftment don't do it man don't do it now people are going to say so flow you talk like I only man do them thing then no I just wanted to hear out how I felt about that video and expound upon it some more this goes for women too like I said the part of life where reach enough people is the part where they thought would never come because you see one time you're, you're young and while you think time is on your side forever and that time will never come the years them go by like this and before you know it you're sitting there lonely didn't accomplish half of what you hope to accomplish in life and you are trying to figure out how to make it now when you're late in the game so don't rip up your lotto ticket and dash it away. Now some people are gonna say, boy, it's so flow me here where you're saying about some of them women that them naggy. Some of them women that them make the man them wanna run with. And I have a video where I'm talking about like women that feel like say, true, she been working hard for a few years and she have some things. She can like bring a man. From all said Jamaica, because to them it's you're in an impoverished state. So they're gonna hold this over your head now. Green card, they're gonna hold that over your head. And then bring your come far and, and lock you up in a house. And you have to tell them your whereabouts, where you're going, when you're coming back, who you're going with, how long you're gonna be there. You know what I mean? I say all them things there. And some of them take it overboard. Want to take away your social life completely. It's like them trying to tell you that they own you. And some of those things, when it's happening, you see the woman outside a ball on social media, but you don't know the real story. Like the real story is she is one of them women there where the man I try to get away from. Some people bring people come afar and then every day them tell the person how much you owe me. And it's like them I try to say, you have to take me abuse. You have to take me disrespectful ways. Because me bring you come here. And enough people are saying, no, me, me, rather, me rather go and cheat until you find out. If you find out and this no work out, me go back to my yard. But me not live with you, so. And come down to that sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But for real though, for wind up the story there, if you find somebody, <laughs> let's say it again. If you find somebody that's willing, figure work three jobs, especially the man. Then, if you find a woman, a woman who's willing to go work three jobs, then that's your golden ticket. You heard me? And your meal ticket, that. I mean, I mean, meal ticket as in user, you know, Nyamaro, so not Nyamaro, no pun intended. You mean like done out our funds and them thing there and go brag. A woman that take care of you and something like that, and you not contributing and you use your user, because you have yell your song, yell your song. That could be the wrong move, brother. The wrong move. With a woman who work three jobs, you can retire early. Ten years early, fifteen years early. Most people are going to work until them dead. Some people work, 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 and end up in a hospital, and go from hospital to graveyard, and never realize life. And they had plans. They might go build a house in the Caribbean. They might go retire and go soak up the good Caribbean sun and cool sea breeze and eat organic foods and travel the island and all these things before them older days, elder days come out. And then you get a meal ticket like that. And you dash it away. I mean, I say the sense. So the sense in it. Now some people wild enough, you know, and a man alone wild enough. You know. People anytime people tell me stuff like, yeah, that's how Jamaican man stay, them can't keep them hooding them pants and them love different different women. I always say this. It's not man them cheating with though. It's woman. That tell me so the women are participating as well and have the same kind of characteristic. 
And we hear the story too many times where they're doing exactly what the man is doing. You see? So in general, if you meet somebody that's ready to come in for your team and get that money with you, and them know they can it, it takes a special skill to block out what's going on around you nowadays. And focus. Grind now so your future can be better. Everybody can say it, but a very few people can actually really do it and commit to it and make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Who don't like to be in a them house? I got through Netflix movie after movie after movie. Chill out on your couch and don't have to move. Who don't like that? Who don't like to be chilling instead of being on somebody's clock working, working, working? Everybody like that. So when them, who don't like to be... Some people like just step on them phone all day. And them things. But when you... Those things do nothing for you. If you are a person that's focused on thinking future-wise. No hand-to-mouth living. You have to try to elevate above that. Right? Most people live about two paychecks away from being homeless. Two paychecks away from being homeless. Most people. You have people out there that are one check, one paycheck away from being homeless. Because the paycheck is stopped. And the bill due. And they can't find the next work. That's it for them. Rock. Moral of the story is this. The brother them to be of themselves. And know when you have a good. Right? And I don't think we should call the girl an idiot. Because she was working three jobs. I think we should actually try to find her. Who she is. And try to help her find somebody who is productive and progressive. On this platform alone. I've met a lot of people that are productive and progressive. People that have them things already. Well established. Definitely won't be begging you for nothing. But they're not looking to mind nobody either. They might look partnership. And, and, and in life, that's what it is. You know what I'm partnership, a relationship is a partnership. So I think that's what we should have done. Help her out. But anyhow, the moral of the story is when you get your meal ticket, when you get your golden ticket, when you hit the lotto, and I'm not talking about hitting the lotto as in your number play upon TV. And you can't say, yeah, I won the Florida lotto. I'm talking about when you get that person that's willing to go get it. All you have to do, match their hustle. And you'll be rich in no time. All the stuff that other people have where you are looking and admire, because that enough lazy people do. Enough lazy people love admire people things. Mmm, my one nice Ben 